Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure or change some things uh, yeah, with the, on the barrel model. So first, how to get it? You just need to join my Discord and go into the open source channel. Then click this blue name. Then there should be something downloading. Then go back to Roblox Studio, open your folder and look where you would download it, your, um, yeah, your model, and then just drag it into the into your studio file. Then you can already see the barrel model here. All right, now on to on how to change it. So. To change the sounds, just change these three things here. That's the spawn sound, as its name says already. Yeah, like this. That's the explosion sound. And that's the sound when the fire starts. So yeah, then Okay, the attachment isn't isn't doing anything. I don't know why I have it in here. Then you can change some things on the flame if you want, maybe color or something. But you, yeah, it's just if you want. I don't know if, why you should do that, but yeah. Um, then you can change things on a proximity proximity prompt like the hold duration uh, or which key you need to hold to activate it or the max activation distance then we have the particles particles I'm sorry particles here that appear when the barrel respawns again so this is how they look you can ch you can just just change them how you want. Uh, okay, let's go into the script now. So okay, what do we have here? <laughs> I know what you have here. I created it, but yeah. So these these are just some variables that yeah. So the barrel is the script, the parent, so the model, pretty much. Then the proximity prompt just you just need to change if your proximity prompt maybe is inside of the attachment. You can drag it in here. Then you can do a barrel dot attachment dot proximity prompt. But yeah, you don't need to do that. Um. Then here we get just the position of the bottle uh, of the barrel. So wherever it's, it's on the map, we just get the position of it that we need that for later. All right, now let's see here. So oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so this function gets called when the proximity prompt is triggered. So when you hold it for two seconds in this example. So then when it's triggered, the fire right here gets enabled and the proximity prompt gets disabled. So you can't trigger it again. Then here we create a highlight inside of the barrel you can see I we parent it to the barrel and yeah you can ch change the highlight however you want here you can change the color of the highlight to whatever you want um here the transparency and also here the fill transparency also this is the outline transparency you can put it to zero then you your object has a white outline. I can change the color 
auf der Outline Tool Einheit dot Outline Color is Color Free dot from RGB and then just put whatever color you want in there. Alright now onto the Chain stuff. We have uh, first we get a barrel. We just wait uh, until we find a uh, find a child named highlight inside of the barrel that we created here. Then we get, uh, make our tween info here. So this is the time how long the tween lasts. So yeah, it needs two point. Uh, uh, 1.2 seconds to finish and these are just some easing styles and yeah here you can change the goal so you probably saw that it was going from okay, so at the start you can see the highlight very clearly but then it really fast goes invisible that's basically this and that's the time then we just create a transparency with all these informations and play it right after that great then we have and uh, we start to uh, we play the fire sound that's here then we make the flames bigger of the fire again after 0.3 seconds we make it big again and again and again then after 0.5 seconds the fire stops and we create an explosion you can change everything uh, on the explosion and if you don't want it to kill a player then change destroy joint radius person to zero instead of one but if you want to explosion to kill someone then just leave it on one then here we uh, play the explosion sound and make the barrel invisible and make it not collidable anymore and destroy the highlight that we created here and then after uh, five seconds we literally <laughs> um, do the same tween highlight thing again, but this time with a white color. And we play the spawn sound. So, yeah, this is the spawn time. So, this is the time it takes for the barrel to spawn again. And yeah, so this is the white highlight. And it's really the same like the one above then we uh, play the sp spawn sound this one then we emit the particle you can change this number on how much particle you want to emit if you change it to a higher number it's gonna emit 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 more particles so i can show you it real quick so yeah these are 30 particle particles emit emit emitted <laughs> and now we can also do 100 and yeah they are just small and for that you just need to change this number then we make the barrel invisible uh, visible again and make it collidable again then after 0 0.5 seconds again we enable the proximity prompt and destroy the highlight so yeah this was everything for the tutorial that you needed to know about the barrel and um, i hope you enjoyed and have a great day